Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm very glad uh, to see you all here and to see the interest in IT. Uh, I'm representing the IT division here. I'm a senior vice president for international, and it's my pleasure to be here with you at the Innovation Summit in Turkey. We really, when I say international, I mean actually all the territory with the exception of North America, China and Europe. All the rest is my territory and I visit a lot of countries and I try always to talk to the customers, to you, to our partners, to understand what we are driving at and if what we are doing is exactly what the market needs. So today, very shortly, I will talk about the major situation which we observed on the market, which we called is a technical disruption. And if we go a little bit further old, so if let's say a few years ago, everyone wanted to change to cloud. Everyone was telling, you've seen this uh, kind of announcement everywhere, everyone was telling cloud, 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 we will no longer need our local data centers, cloud is everywhere. All these customers you have seen announcing, we're moving to Google, mm -hmm. we're moving to Google Cloud, everywhere. Will we need uh, anything else except of cloud computing? What's changed since that time? The market has developed, and we are so much digitized, even at every age we are working at, starting from retail, ending up our financial institutions and branches. Many of you are using your phone to do your financial transactions, right? You need to pay, you use your phone. You even don't need your card, right? You all use either Apple Pay or Google Pay, or you just make a transaction for your banks, this is always your phone only. Then what else can you use your phone for? Anything. It's long, no longer is a tool just to call. You do everything, web browsing, shopping, anything you want. So what is happening then? Is it cloud-based and large data centers is the answer? No, that's not. The world has changed. We changed to the fact that we need edge. You can imagine a car without a driver. That's exactly what they're testing, for example, in Japan and very successfully, connected to a closed base somewhere along a way data center, and even the length of connectivity. What will you have? A lot of accidents, for sure. You need somewhere very close to it connected. We are supplying also equipment uh, to a lot of uh, uh, car uh, producers, as well as for races. What do they have? They always have age because they need to monitor it very quickly. Whenever it is a race and it's a, a famous one, you need to be very close. Whenever you want to go shopping. In um, Korea, you go to the metro. While you're waiting for your metro train, you can do shopping. This is the electronic shopping. You just choose what you want, you book, you go home, it's delivered to your door. Perfectly well, you need edge for that. You cannot use your big and large cloud-based providers. So we see major companies turn to the age. Is it only retail? No. Look into your schools, for example. You remember your old days, what we were using, the board and the chalk, right, to, to do this. Now look in your school kids. They're using laptops. A lot of schools are using laptops, electronic boards. Everywhere, this is exactly what we need. And there was a report recently published asking different companies in different areas, starting from healthcare, up to, the, up to the retail shops, governmental officials, this is what we call this a 451 report, and the majority of them have answered that's exactly what you need, is age. You are using your cloud-based solutions? Yes, we do. Are we using age? Yes, we do. And that's why we are using age, because we need to be close to our customer. We want to be where our customers need us. We want to provide them exactly what they need from us. So the society has changed, and the society is connected. Each of you is having at least one mobile phone. I'm sure many of you have your two minimum. One is for personal needs, the other is for work, to make sure you're not disturbed at home by the uh, calls uh, from work, etc. So the Society is so much connected that connectivity, age, and cloud are no longer the wish. It's the need. The society 
has started to face, okay? So this is, you can see it everywhere. You go to a restaurant, very often uh, we obsess the people sitting in their phones. Uh, even we start talking too much less. And now imagine, imagine our now young generations. I have two kids. One is 22, the second is 13. My 13-year-old daughter is now going to boarding school at UK. The first shock she had was not that she had to study in a foreign language. It's not the different programs. The first shock she received was that they are not allowed to use their mobile phone more than two hours in the evening. For three weeks, every day, she complained to me, can you imagine, mom, I cannot use my telephone more than two hours in this boarding school. It's a disaster, it's a prison for me. Can you imagine what will your kids tell you if you take away the phone from them for a week? They are connected, they're everywhere. That's, that's their life. That's what changed in the world for the last 10 to 15 years, exactly. So if you look into the world we are living in now, is exactly what we called as a hybrid computing. We need to understand how we can combine the cloud-based, which is great solution, and the age, which is the need of our customers. How can we manage it centrally? How can we provide resilience, safety, to the whole hybrid computing we are facing at the moment? What we need to do to enable our hyper-connected society to receive the right services at the right time, have at the same time reliable and secure data? How and what we can do in this case? So let's look into the reality. Okay. If you look into this, 50% either own or operate data, uh, data for center facilities. Around 50 elite board either utilize the services provided by cloud-based. So the world has changed to a certain uh, extent that we need to have not only cloud-based, but also age, as I have mentioned before. So we have now three areas, or sometimes two depends on the size. This one, one is centralized data center. This is secured. You have a reservation there. You have physical security there. You have everything you can imagine is in a large data center. You can have regional age. This is smaller data centers to cover the different regions. And then you have what we call is the age. That's where you go and uh, to a shop, and I was in Japan, I was really shocked. They reduced the number of shop assistants. You can do your shopping, you take your basket, and you put in a machine, you don't even scan yourself. You can scan yourself in many places. But there you put in the machine, close the door, it scans you everything itself. You just see the bill, pay, take it out, it's all done. You don't need even a shop assistant. Now imagine, uh, this is what we call is age. And now imagine this retail shop has an issue. It has an issue only for 10 seconds. Multiply it by the number of retail shops, which can be like 100 shops, they all have an issue. Can you imagine how much money the retail shop can lose on this particular moment? You will have a telco operator. When it is down for 10 seconds, how much data you lose? You cannot make a call, or if it is down for several minutes, Look into the bank, the bank transactions you make at the ATM, it is down for a few minutes. What is happening to your credit card when you are trying to cash? It either gives you cash or it just charges you but does not give you a cash. So this is the world we are operating in. And how can we make and collect all the necessary data? How can we really manage it? And how, in fact, then can we really do control all what is happening with us. This is how can we predict the potential loss of data at the age, not only at the center where we have all the reservations and perfect solutions. How can we predict and secure that at the age you're not down for 10 seconds, you're not uh, losing your data and not losing your money? What can we uh, come here? This is 
our cloud-based management system, which we are ready to talk about. This is what I'm calling is EcoStructure. EcoStructure is the software today you have seen the presentation of Luke, and he was talking about different types of EcoStructure. I'm talking now not about EcoStructure data center, which combines three different areas, which is power, building, and IT. I'm only talking about EcoStructure IT, which can be used anywhere, not necessarily for IT also management, but it can be used in retail, it can be used in finance, it can be used in healthcare, connecting your polyclinics information. It can be used within one hospital, connecting operating room to the emergency room intensive care room, and I witnessed it myself when we, I saw the patient taking out from operation, connected to intense room, and then all the data is already there. So you don't need to carry all the papers with you. So what we say is our echo structure can connect your age and your cloud-based solution, or the customer cloud-based solution, or premises data center, the large data center and the age. So, which allows you as the customer or your customers to manage it even from your telephone. You can be traveling, having vacation, and you want to check what is happening to my whole infrastructure. You download, you see what is happening. As a partner, it gives you a great opportunity to give a proactive service to your customer. Having installed this, you will be able not only to control what is happening, at uh, the large data center, but to control the issues at the edge. So if you see that there is something happening in the edge, I don't know, the battery is going to be down, or something else, you can act proactively. What else is important about this echo structure, that this software is vendor agnostic. So you don't need to come to your customer, and uh, you don't need to change all the equipment to Schneider. I would love to, but it's not the case, right? We also want to optimize the cost of our customers. You don't need to change all equipment to Schneider. It is vendor agnostic. So whenever equipment has a standard protocol, you can easily connect it to EcoStructure and have a great opportunity to manage it. It is proactive. It provides you with different type of advice, starting on how effectively you use your energy consumption, ending up with the points where you have the most leakage, not only of energy, but of data, etc. So this is the echo structure of IT, which can solve the issue of management, resilience, and efficiency, both at the edge and in the cloud. Another thing I'm going to talk about is also the edge itself. So when we talk about, as I said, the large data centers, I said they are really secured, right? Physically secured. And also, we have video surveillance, etc. What is happening at the edge? This is a small rack, maybe with one PDU, maybe with computer. You don't have a real physical security. Do you know who is the main threat to these racks? Can you guess? Huh? I can tell you, it's a cleaning lady. It's a cleaning lady because what she does, she takes away the socket when she's cleaning. It's just sometimes non-intentionally, but she does it. What is happening? There is an issue. And saying nothing that is always built and is put in a corridor, in a hole, in non-really physically secured places. Because it's age, it needs to do some small things. But these small things cost a lot of money. So what can we suggest to you uh, really as a solution for this? And what we can suggest? is our different solutions when we say it's prefabricated or it can be uh, manufactured to order, depends on what you do, is our micro data center. What is a micro data center? First of all, it's a secure thing where you have built in everything starting from fire extinguisher, ending up with your computer or server or storage, whatever you put inside, including PDU. It's not so easy to switch off as a lady would do. And first of all, it has a special access. So it's closed, it can be either a fingerprint access or it can be a code, whatever the customer wants. So you put it, you forget about it. It's noise suppression, there is no noise, there is nothing. So that is a really ready-made edge solution. Another thing, what we say, this edge is connectable. So you can connect it very easily to a cloud. 
so that immediately the data you collect can be transferred to the large data center, assessed there, and done everything. And different types of digital services are completely available in this case. So you, you can monitor this, of course. It's connected to the cloud. You can monitor it from your computer. You can monitor it from your iPhone or phone, whatever you use, okay? So we worked um, with one of the largest retail stores uh, and uh, we just introduced two things, the simple solution of age and echo structure. As a result, this is official information from the store. They improved store stability by 82%. So can you imagine the improvement rate, 82%? The decrease of uh, failure from 70 to 10%, so that's completely decreased, they free up 3,600 hours of labor. That means these people can spend more time not repairing, but these people can spend more time working with the end customer and talking to the end customer. And the global security standards were completely improved. That's what I was giving you an example. You cannot lose your data or being switched off at the age at 2,300 shops. This is valid for any place, not only retail. This is valid for hospitals. This is valid for tax inspection branches. For any governmental branches, you have financial institutions, schools, if you want to connect them. A lot of things whenever we have this. Okay. Another thing which we are facing as a challenge is, of course, a centralized data center where we, are, of course, is a leader. And what is the important for the centralized data center? If you want to build a new data center, it's speed of deployment, number one. Next one is, of course, operational efficiency, high resiliency, and risk mitigation. So when we build our new data centers, we can go from prefabricated, supposedly the customer is not sure, it's a collocation customer, and he is not sure how quickly he will get more customers as a colo customers. And he doesn't want to build, physically build a large building because construction costs a lot of work. You have to invest in low and medium voltage. What can we offer to him as our prefabricated data center, which can be configured starting from 20 racks up to 100 or whatever you need, and can be easily scalable. Supposedly you installed 100 racks, all manufactured, including low, medium voltage. You just plug in and play what you say. So you can, you can use it. You have your customers filled in by 80%, you order another one, and you can scale it very easily. So these different types of solutions are also available. Another thing which when we say operational efficiency, we do guarantee a very high operational efficiency, more than 99%, up to 99% of the data center when you build it from the scratch. We also have a solution using our echo structure, now not uh, IT, but data center echo structure, to increase efficiency of the existing data center, which quite old, let's say five plus years, where usual efficiency is around 60 to 70%, we can easily increase it to 90% using these things. And uh, of course, high resistance and um, risk mitigation, this is, uh, very clear. Next one. When we go about these kind of things, these are flexible and easy technologies which we are offering. For example, you're a big data center, you built a new building and you need it very quickly. Hyperpod solution which you see, this is for white space. So in case you want a white space, you just build it in, put it and you can use it. Another solution which you can use is uh, our lithium batteries. Our lithium batteries are very interesting in terms that your return on investment is between three to five years. But it's not only return on investment or double uh, age or in comparison to other batteries. So it's uh, age of lithium battery is about 10 to 15 years, which we guarantee. What is also interesting is the weight and uh, you don't need to have a separate room for that. They are smaller, lighter, and do not require a special battery room. So this space you can easily use for other needs. If you're a caller, 
you can build their racks. If you're using your data center for your own, you just can use it for other purposes. If you rent the premises, then you don't need to rent so much of that. This is our lithium batteries, okay? So you can really save with this a lot of space and you don't need to build a special concrete making the weight because the lead is much less. So, and uh, another one which are going is a cooling technologies. Uh, you all know that 40% of usage in a data center is actually used by cooling. And our air economizer is one of the key solutions which will allow you to reduce your energy consumption of cooling by 30%, just using this air economizer solution. And what is also interesting, it requires zero white space. This solution requires zero white space space okay i will not talk much uh, that's one of our key customers i was meeting him recently in singapore and in australia this is a pulse data center that's very interesting about this in australia it's in queensland so it's very interesting about this data center because i don't know if you know australia or not the queensland area was a very farmer area and they decided we need to build a data center which will serve as governmental and the authorities will service the large banks in a secured place. So this is an area 500 meters above the sea, and they were looking for different vendors to build really newest technology, very efficient, very modern data center, which services will be very efficient and they can really sell them to everywhere in Australia. And there was a very long tender and they were selecting different partners. Finally, we agreed, we did a turnkey solution for this customer. And now we are increasing uh, their capacities because it was already a large one and was filled in up to 80% within uh, a little less than a year. So that quality of the dental center and efficiency was what made us really true partners to this customer. And, uh, well, just to sum up maybe what I've said already. Uh, tomorrow, or even, even today, I would say, we're facing the world with distributed computing ecosystem. It's not even tomorrow. It started yesterday, and that's our challenge for today. And uh, what we can do for this, we can and we know how to manage it. We know how to connect the cloud-based solution to the edge and to make sure you can provide your service to the end customer. You can provide everything starting from analytical reports, ending up with proactive maintenance and managing on a day-to-day -day basis. And this, why we need EcoStructure, that's why we created this solution several years ago, is EcoStructure, which can really secure you this hypercomputing and uh, difficult environment, okay? So that's mainly all. I think you have seen or you will see our equipment presented at our innovation hub. You will see the new UPSs, easy UPS, and you will also be able, I think, to see our EcoStructure solution, our new solution, which we call EcoStructure IT expert and advisor, which can easily be used by our partners to provide your services, your management services, your maintenance services, not having an IT uh, employer at every age point. You really don't need IT people at every age. You can maintain and maintenance it from the cloud. Okay, thank you for your attention.